In this video we're going to be talking about how to combine shapes via our pathfinder in here or via our shape builder tool in our toolbar. And as we can see here we have two rounded corner squares. Each one has its own different appearance. And when we select them then we go to our pathfinder panel we're going to be seeing these options. And in case you're not seeing that panel in here you can be opening that one from window and we're going to be seeing pathfinder. You're going to be seeing shape modes and when you hover over any one of these you're going to be seeing description on how to use it and first one we've got here is unite then we've got minus front then we've got intersect and then we have exclude and we're going to see the difference between each one of these options in here so first we're going to be starting by unite and when we press on that one we're going to be seeing that our shapes became united taking the most recent shape appearance as you can see we've created that one first then we created this one later and as you can see when they got united here the final result shape got the latest square appearance having its own stroke and its own fill and as you can see here the program is giving them the name both as you can see instead of rectangle like these shapes then we've got these two shapes and we're gonna be minus front from here like that and as you can see from the name, the front shape curve got subtracted from the original shape in here. Then we've got intersect in here. We're going to be selecting these two shapes. Then we're going to be pressing on intersect. And you're going to be seeing that the result is that shape between our two shapes that were originally in here. Then we've got these two shapes and we're going to be executing our exclude mode on those two shapes by selecting them and clicking in here. And you're going to be seeing that the intersected area got excluded from our shape. And if you notice in here, you're going to be seeing that these shapes became into group, which means that these shapes are still two shapes, not only one shape. And if we right click these shapes and select ungroup from here, you're going to be able to move each of them separately like that. And as you can see, each of them is individual boss. So I'm going to undo that anyway. So that's one way to combine shapes via the pathfinder panel in here. The other way to do that is from our shape builder tool in here or shift M via keyboard shortcut. And basically what this tool does is the same as the panel, but you can be doing that through your mouse for more options. So for instance, we're going to be selecting these three shapes in here. And then we're going to be selecting our shape builder tool from here. And remember that you have to be selecting your shapes first before you edit with your shape builder tool in here. And then you're going to be seeing by default has a plus symbol which means that you can be adding these shapes together. Allowing me to choose some specific part instead of combining each and every part together. So for instance we can be adding those two circles but before we add them let's notice that there is another difference in here. That they are also complying to your filling and stroke appearance in here not the most recent shapes that we used so for instance if i start dragging my mouse holding our shift key to make a selection area we're going to be combining these two shapes together and our final result will be a shape like that one with none fill and stroke to black so let me change that fill color to make it more obvious to you i'm going to deselect that shape first i'm going to be selecting that shape in here and let's choose that color for instance We've got that shape combined and that shape still separated. Those are three circles. And if we move our circle in here, we're going to be seeing that that part still has its own characteristics because they didn't get combined in first place. We just combined these two shapes together and those two shapes can be moving freely as well. And also these two shapes got separated from our shape. So as you can see, we can be getting unlimited shapes of combining our shapes. And let me select those shapes as well. And then select our shape builder tool in here and here's another way to combine shapes instead of drawing our selection tool holding the shift key we can be going with our mouse like that through our desired shape maybe that one as well and then we've got these shapes combined together and now we can be deselecting these shapes and select these shapes as we can see in here we're gonna be seeing that shape combined and that's our other shape in here and also we can be selecting that shape as well and instead of adding shapes to each other we can be subtracting shapes or removing some shapes of our intersected shapes 
by holding the alt key on keyboard you will be seeing the minus symbol appearing on your mouse and then you can be removing these parts out of your intersected shape you're gonna be having that shape instead then you can be deselecting that shape and move that shape and that shape and that shape and you've got these shapes separated let's select that shape for instance then select our shape builder tool again and then let's unite all of these circles and let's go to our appearance color and change that fill color to maybe that one and let's duplicate that shape in its place by using the shortcut command or control C on your keyboard then holding command or control F and it will be pasted in same place then we're gonna be deselecting outside then when you select that shape you're gonna be having the pasted shape on top of the original shape so I'm gonna be changing its color again maybe that color and then I will be reducing that shape maybe a little bit via holding the alt and shift key to reduce its size in center maybe like that and then let's say we want to combine these shapes together I'm gonna be selecting both of them in here and then select our shape builder tool and if we add these shapes to each other we're gonna be having mixed objects by pressing the plus key you're gonna see that path it changing into mixed objects and that basically means that you have more than shape combined and united together however if we minus front that shape or subtract that shape from our original shape we're gonna be having that converted into compound path like that and as you can see we've got compound path in here and when you see that in Adobe Illustrator this means that you've got a shape or a path having another path on top of it going inside that shape having maybe its own stroke like this one unlike this shape when we got that shape removed from the original square in here we only talk about of that shape not having the shape inside anyway we're gonna be talking more about these compound paths in our designs later don't worry about that and they are so essential for your design this could make your life much easier instead of drawing a shape like that or a shape like that you can have your ready-made shape by combining simple or basic shapes like circle and square or polygon or anything like that one more thing to cover in here the expand feature let me just move those first to that part to have our artboard clear and I'm gonna be drawing a circle in here like this one and I will be increasing our stroke maybe to 18 and then I'm gonna be duplicating that circle by holding the alt key or option key on keyboard and dragging our shape a little bit maybe like that maybe holding the shift key as well to keep it aligned then I'm gonna be removing our fill color in here and change our stroke color as well to make a difference between those two shapes maybe selecting this one and let me duplicate these two shapes first before I edit them to show you the difference between what I'm gonna do and now we're gonna be selecting those two shapes first then we're gonna open our pathfinder and then we're gonna be using our minus front and we're gonna be having that shape okay however I'm gonna be expanding that circle appearance and by doing so we're gonna be converting that stroke to a fill so we're gonna be going to object in here and then gonna be choosing expand then you can be choosing to expand fill and stroke and we're gonna be choosing that anyway and as you can see you've got that converted into a fill color instead of a stroke and now let's do the same steps we just did to that shape and we're gonna be choosing the minus front as well and now you can see the difference between the two shapes in here when we minus from a shape that has its own stroke like this one or this one we're gonna be having our stroke completing the shape however when we expand our shape we're gonna be having our fill color cut like this one while having the advantage of our stroke shape line and this could be really helpful in drawing different shapes say you need to get an arc like this one or a curve like this one you're gonna be having that so easily via this simple trick and here is also another application of the expand feature that we can be using on our shapes here's that star for instance let me drag these shapes into here and maybe expand our artboard a little bit to make them more visible like that 
me. And as you can see, we've got our star shape with a stroke around it. Then I got that stroke expanded. Then you can use a circle to minus from the star shape and get some interesting shapes like these shapes for instance that you can be using later maybe for your logo design or for any other design purpose i mean like you can be cutting your shapes into pieces and you can be using these pieces to get even more interesting shapes for your design purpose and also we've got that design academy word converted into path we're gonna be talking about that later into typography lessons but you can get very interesting visuals combining your typefaces with shapes Anyway, that's it for this lesson. Hope that was easy one. We're gonna be having more practices on these modes. Don't worry about them. But it's really recommended that you open your Illustrator and start practicing these shape modes with your Adobe Illustrator and experience how creative these shapes can get.